So how do you put assets into a trust? And here's the big reason this is important. Having a trust does little good unless it actually holds the assets it is meant to protect or the assets you intend to transfer to your loved ones after your passing. Step one, to get started, you want to make a complete list of the assets you want to transfer so that you are sure that you don't leave anything out. Now you've made your list. Step two, put your assets into the trust. Now there are two categories, assets with titles, like a house, car, or bank account, and then you have assets without titles, such as jewelry, art, and precious metals. For things with titles, you change the title. For things without titles, you make a list that describes those things on a piece of paper called a schedule that is referred to in the trust and that you attach to the trust. Okay, now step number three. Once the deed form is prepared, a real estate deed must be filed with the county recorder's office in the county where the property is located, and you'll need to pay a filing fee. In most counties, the fee is very reasonable, like $25 to $150, but there are over 3,000 counties in the U.S., so check locally. Now, a deed transfer into a trust should not affect your mortgage, even if you have a due on sale clause provision. The Garn St. Germain Depository Institutions Act of 1982 says that you can transfer one to four dwelling units into an inter vivos trust, such as the living trust and land trust that we create, and the bank cannot, by law, call the loan due. So this is a single family home, duplex, triplex or fourplex that people actually live in. The owner of that house, that is the mortgage holder, must be a beneficiary of the trust. And you should inform your homeowner insurance company just so that they are aware that you have transferred the title into the trust. So that is step number four. Once the deed is transferred, you may need to change your homeowner's insurance to indicate that the trust is the owner of the property. Step five, if you receive a real estate tax exemption, you'll want to make sure that it is properly applied by showing documentation of the trust to the taxing authority, such as a certificate of trust, a document your attorney can create that certifies the existence of the trust. Okay, so those are the steps to transfer real estate into a trust, transferring bank accounts to a trust. To transfer assets such as investments, bank accounts, or stock to your trust, you'll need to contact the institution and complete a form. You will likely need to provide a certificate of trust as well, then sit back, relax, and let them do the rest. You may want to put your personal checking account and savings account account into the trust as well. Transferring vehicles to a trust. Each state is different, but you'll usually need to contact the DMV. You'll also call your insurance company to be certain they will continue coverage once the transfer is made. We set up a lot of title holding trusts for vehicles so people can own their cars privately, and then we'll often set up a Wyoming LLC to serve as the trustee because of the privacy, as well as the protection and the low cost of setting up a Wyoming LLC. So to transfer ownership, you will need to obtain a title change form from your DMV and complete it, naming the trustee as the trustee of your trust as the new owner along with the name of the trust. Now, sales tax should not apply to the transfer, and if the clerk tries to apply it, you'll need to speak to a supervisor. Now, if you own a boat, you'll usually need to follow a similar procedure to transfer title. If it's a Coast Guard registered vessel, you'll contact the Coast Guard's National Vessel Documentation Center. Okay, now things without titles, transferring personal property to a trust. You likely own many things that don't don't have actual written titles or ownership documents. This is jewelry, furniture, collectibles, and the miscellaneous things that fill your home. To place them into your trust, you can name them in your trust document on a property schedule, basically a list that you attach to the trust document that is referred to in the trust document and indicate their ownership is being transferred to the trust. Now first, you need to name the schedule. If it is the first schedule attached to the trust, you might call it Schedule A. Then you write a list of the stuff you're putting on the schedule, then in the trust document itself, you'll need to say, see attached schedule A. Now keep in mind, this is only for things without titles. If it does have a title, you need to change the title. Putting things with titles on the schedule without also changing the title to that asset isn't putting that asset into the trust. Now, if any of these items are insured, be sure to contact the insurance company to transfer the insurance to the name of the trust as well.